Moving on, Deputy President William Ruto is expected to officially open the 63rd General Assembly of the National Churches Council of Kenya, which is currently underway in Kanamai, Kilifi County. Let's cross over there and listen in to the proceedings. To celebrate the fullness of God that is provided to us as a people of Kenya. And so as you speak to these fathers and mothers of faith, Servants and shepherds of the flock of Christ in this land do not withhold anything. Speak, release, and let us also know where you struggle. Because we're in partnership together. <laughs> and that is why we are called. We kneel, we wait on God, we hear His will and His purposes, and we spare it out. Sometimes it is not very well taken. Not very well taken, but all the time we are also in the world, so sometimes we are broken human beings, but often we sense the will of God and it's all intended for the good of us learning together. So, with that much, I welcome you to speak to us. Because uh, this meeting was supposed to be presided over by the President of the Republic of Kenya, but as you all know, he is away on duty. And when he is away, we may go to the And I have come here in that capacity. And um, so, as uh, Peter has explained, um, I wasn't given that information earlier, but when that information reached me, I thought it was a good um, opportunity and moment, and therefore it took me a bit of time to readjust my program. But we are here, and I want to say to all of you, congratulations for a hundred years. I attended the celebrations of the 100 years, and now I'm told it is 106 going, going forward. And um, there are a couple of things that Peter has raised, which uh, I will have a moment to speak to from my perspective. But it is with humility that I joined this assembly as we gather at that historic and undeniable intersection between faith and country, and church and state. We gather to ponder and deliberate on how we can better serve both God and our fellow citizens, and how the church can contribute even more to the arc of Kenya's history. 
It is impossible to discount the role of the church in, making, in the making of modern day Kenya. The founders of this organization in 1913 would take immense pride in how the church has become not only a moral force, but a legitimate player in the socio-economic space, dominating our education, founding the health sector, and even making strides into microfinance. You are an embodiment of the birth and growth of Kenya as a nation under God. From Ludwig Graf, who came around here, to Peter here, and from the colonial secretary of Her Majesty's government to President Uhuru Kenyatta, we have all brought this country to where it is. Your contribution to the cause of social justice and better governance is a matter of history and one which you should take great pride in. The breadth and scope of the interventions and programs this organization and its members have undertaken is enormous. You should protect the gains you have made as you strive to create more impact. There is